Oh dear. Looks like some things never change. Battle Cats 10.7 with a whole heckin' mess at the top here. What's that? Battery reading, loading ring, and Wi Fi symbol. I thought it was some kind of spider climbing at the top of my screen at first. We're going to start off with a daily cat ticket straight into the news. But I'd quite like my rare ticket. I don't want that. I don't want that. I would like my rare ticket for the update though. First thing we notice, although almost not notice because it's softly integrated, a thing that I am a fan of, a little swappy button. I don't know what it does. Let's find out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, go on, my son. Oh, that's so nice. And the outbreak splodge is so well designed. Little Z medals in it, as pointless as Z medals are. You've got the entirety of the Empire of Cats into the future, helpfully labeled. Cats of Cosmos. Oh, without having to go back out to the main menu. Oh, streaming has become a lot easier. Very nice indeed. Good job. Oh my dear goodness me, what is this supposed to be? This must be the difficulty grading stars, which for some reason don't start at the first star? We just got random stars populating this strange difficulty menu. Now I'm not gonna lie, it looks like the whole load is covered in those kind of dots that suggest that a plant leaf is diseased. Now something as simple as a difficulty rating should kind of be self-evident uh, and this really isn't. The complete is now in a different place. What I do like about it is that it's out of the way. The fact it's complete isn't massively important information relative to what you might tap on for the level information, for example. So I like that it's out of the way. It feels a bit janky, but not so much as to annoy me. It's all changed in the stories of legendy, uncanny legendy versions. We've now got a thing that tells us clear instead of complete. Okay, fair enough. And that suggests that we've done one star of it but why why have you replaced star difficulty with crowns you've made the stars unintelligible and numerous and slightly ridiculous and then split the whole format of seeing what difficulty of level you're on it's easy to infer that two star is more difficult than one star and three star is more difficult than one star and two star and then four star changes colour because it's a different kind of restriction. What was wrong with that that required this? The crowns look low def, they look a bit janky, they look a bit incomplete. Everything's shifted over to the left, also to different degrees because complete is a longer word than clear, which makes that look unprofessional in terms of formatting. Maybe it will grow on me, but I didn't need anything to grow on me. Now I notice the button to go to the outbreak is gone from here, but if I click on the message, I can't travel directly to the outbreak. Alas, it does not matter nearly as much. There is an outbreak on in Into the Future Chapter 1. I tap on there and go in, go to the outbreak. You know, to me, that's a sensible change. I loved the idea of the button when I first saw it, but actually every experience nearly that I had with it was it being erroneously pressed when I'm trying to scroll through the menu and ending up who knows where in the Battle Cats menu having to go back out to the main menu to get back to where I was. So this, although perhaps a step backwards, I would argue is better. This in-menu game navigation can only be a good thing. Like digging a tunnel through a hill in Minecraft to get somewhere sooner. It makes sense. Let's use this in-menu switcher to find ourselves to something which could be rather interesting. A new theme, the Cat God. I like it. It's good that Battle Cats has its own god theme rather than borrowing O Fortuna. But I mean O Fortuna is definitely out of copyright so I don't think it was ever an issue having it. I think actually the, the kind of usual human and especially me human response of I don't like it, it's new, is going to be outweighed by the interestingness, novelty and inoffensiveness of this new theme. Add 
min time. Another Uncanny Legends stage has been added, wherever they are. Yes, here. Allegedly called Castle of the Sentinels. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time to be happy and joyful because there are more user rank rewards. Yes, that's right. 14,200 grants you <laughs> feathers. <laughs> then it gets better with some <laughs> coal and then some gears. But then again, Here's a little thought. People often say, oh, I'm at this user rank. Can I do this? Oh, I was at this user rank when I beat this. I'm clearly better than you. I really don't like the rat race up the user rank scale because it's just how many units you've upgraded. And it's no indication of skill. They're not really an indication of progress. So Potnos kind of making it completely undesirable in this sense to get higher user rank. As boring as it is, I'm, I'm all for it. Turns your attention perhaps Something more important, like the new cat combos, Minisaurus for a search power-up. That is beautifully cute and a useful little cat, I like that. Little Warriors and Micro Fighters. This seems like an insurgence of the unappreciated. And the new in the filter combo thing is actually working, so celebrations all round, basically. Get a few of them party poppers out, whoop whoop. That sounds sarcastic, but I'm... I'm genuinely happy. Talents have been added to a whole host of five cat units, four of which I don't have. Anyway, Procky Boy. Increasing the likelihood of critical attacks. Ooh, I like that, I like that. Immune to weaken, goodness me. Resist surge, goodness me. Defense buff, attack buff. Oh, if a unit ever didn't need that. But also, as far as I'm aware, for the first time in a long time, no true forms have been added. At all. I mean, we we're always going to reach that point. Just intriguing that now is that time. But you know what? I respect it. Lump it in in an update where people are going to be talking about something else. <laughs> Sneak it on by. Additionally, talents have been added. That's right. We can now have talents for massive damage. Massive damage. Right strong and resist though i suspect that there'll be specific new stages that you can get them from so that's just about update 10.7 some absolutely fantastic things such as this interspersed with some very questionable things this is certainly an update of change and some of it is good some of it is understandable and some of it why change things that were good to start off with? I look forward to hearing your thoughts, but for now, that'll do it. 10.7. Battle Cats will, hopefully, be the same again.